Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's do an example of this different method of finding the torque about some point. Here we have a beam. We have a certain amount of length and let's say that the distance from point A to where force 1 is acting is a distance of 3 meters. Let's say from there to there is a distance of 5 meters and let's say that this is another 5 meters this way. So you can see that this is a total distance of 10 meters. Now what we're trying to do in this case is we're trying to find the net torque acting on this beam. Assuming that the mass of the beam is insignificant, we can ignore the mass of the beam. And therefore, we can say that the sum of the torques, sum of the torques is equal to, and this is about point A. Taking our first force, first force would cause a counterclockwise motion, that's a positive torque. Therefore, it's equal to F1, the magnitude of the force, times the distance from where the force is acting to the pivot point, which is 3 meters times the cosine of the angle between the vertical and the force. In this case, it would be the cosine of 30 degrees. The second force, F2, is acting in such a way that the vertical component would give this a clockwise motion. That means it's a minus torque, so minus F2, times the distance from where the force is acting to the pivot point, which is 5 meters, times the cosine of the angle between the vertical and the direction of the force, cosine of 45 degrees. The third force, again, the vertical component would cause the beam to rotate in a counterclockwise direction. That's a positive torque, positive the force, F3, times the distance from where the force is acting to the pivot point, which is 10 meters, times the cosine of the angle between the vertical and the force, the cosine of 10 degrees. Plug in the values for the forces. This is equal to force 1 would be 50 newtons times 3 meters times the cosine of 30 degrees minus the second force, that's 40 newtons times the distance of 5 meters times the cosine of 45 degrees and plus F3 would be 60 newtons times the distance of 10 meters times the cosine of 10 degrees. Simplifying this a little bit, this would be 150 newton meters times the cosine of 30 degrees minus 200 newton meters times the cosine of 45 degrees and plus 600 newton meters times the cosine of 10 degrees. And now we're ready with a calculator to find the final answer. 150 times 30 times the cosine equals minus 200 times 45, take the cosine of that, equals plus 600 times 10, take the cosine of that, equals, and the net torque would be equal to 579 newton meters. It being a positive quantity means that would be a counterclockwise direction. And so that would be the sum of all the torques about point A, which is also then known as the net force on point A. And that's how we do that. It actually is quite readily a, a nice method. Uh, sometimes it's a lot easier to find the perpendicular distance from the line of action of force to the pivot point, but in some, ki some cases it's easier to go ahead and use this method. So now you have two different methods. Use whatever you think is best for you and works best for you. But this is how we do that second method.